some of these um, nuts are pretty tight and I can't undo them with my hands so I'm actually going to be using a shorter length of pole and using it essentially as a wrench I'll put in that over there and by doing that that then unlocks that nut and then this becomes loose and you can slide it off so I'm actually going to slide off all the fittings first and see what I've got to work with before I come up with the main design so what I've discovered, I've actually got three different types of fitting. I've got this um, fitting here, and then I've got this one here, which is fixed. So you have one pole coming up and one pole going that way. So they are welded in the middle, so that's fixed. You can't move that now. There's no adjustment. And on these ones, they actually adjust. So I think the aim I'm going to have to do is if the um, upright pole is going to be going up, um, and I can use one of these fittings at the top of the pole that way uh, put that on like that and then the one that's down will make the uh, cross beams going that way but I'm not sure whether I should be using a fixed one of these or an adjustable one of these the concern is that these lights apart are quite heavy and um, would they come loose or would the welding break on these so that is something i need to take into consideration when i start the actual build so i've now got the um two halves together and i only had two of these um, fully moldy plugs here but i did have those ones that were fixed welded in the middle so they couldn't move so i've used it on the right hand side leg here and the left hand leg on that one and what I need to do a bit later on, when Ben's back from school, I can't do it now because I'm on my own. We tie a little bit of rope to the top, pull it towards us, and this structure should stand up. I then repeat it on the same side over here, and then once that's up, we can um, bolt some more poles towards the middle. We'll probably have about three or four, depending on what we've got left remaining, and that will make it all tight and solid so i'll bring you back when we've done that and show you how it looks so this is how far we've got so far with the structure as you can see it's now standing up and we've connected it with this piece here um, we need to finish the border along the bottom here ben's just bending some nails over from some old edging wood as you can see we started lining the canes up so here we're going to have the robotic benchmaster seeds that um, Terry King sent us. So that's going to be in that area here, one side. Here we're going to have two lots of peas, um, sugar snap one side and petit pois on the other. And that'll be their area there. And then we've got some more runner beans going to be going in this section. They're just generic. Can't actually remember the brand of them, but just bulk standard runner beans. Uh, not the giant rice or anything special. So we're going to carry on dressing this up and we'll bring it back soon. So we've now completed all of the canes on the two bean structures. We have still got the middle to do but we'll show you um, what we're going to do there shortly. Just got a little bit of housekeeping to do now along the tops to cut these cable ties back and then the um, border along the bottom. We've got that to do as well. So all the poles are finished now all the way along and we have some knitting up the middle and it's not the idea to for the peas to, peas to grow up they might latch on with their uh, little suckers but it's mainly just to divide the two plants and have petty peas one side of the net and the sugar peas snap the other side what we've also done just as a security and safeguarding measure is we've put in a post here uh, between the board over the top here so if you were to try and move that's actually pretty tight now it's uh, just a safe measure um poles can't fall over or anything like that so we've got one that end and again another one at this end and again that's pretty tight it's not going anywhere so that's how we're looking Ben and I are now going to get it filled up. Just show you as well what Ben's been up to today. 
is these the broad beans here he's just staked them all up just tied them up a bit but look at the size of these pods already some fantastic peas on there so we might even be enjoying these a little bit early still they're getting there um, but we've run out of horse muck so we've got to go and pick some more up today and hope that the um, person will get it off has left us some um, it's free to have as long as we can return the bags the empty bags so they can reuse them for us and other people and so you can see what we've done with the horse manure 50% horse manure 50% compost mixed it in together and we're filling this up and then the last inch two inches on top would just be purely compost all the way down so there's still a little bit left to do but for now we're pretty happy with that now if anybody's got any ideas with what we can do with the middle space here we could either put some vertical canes going up the middle and have extra um, poles for the runner beans but I was also wondering would I get away if I put a thin strip all the way down the centre here of the um, matting that we use, the 100 GSM um, mesh, the ground cover if we put say a foot wide piece down in the middle and then cut holes in it would we get away planting either pumpkins or melons could we use this middle area here so it's all been used if you've got any ideas obviously we could plant some flowers down the middle just to deter any sort of aphids and slugs and things like that so we could plant those up the middle but ideally if there's something else a veg like I said either pumpkins or melons watermelons up the middle let me know what you think or any other suggestions but for now that's Ben and I signing out see you again soon well I hope you enjoyed that video and if you do like our content please do subscribe hit the like button you can also contact us through our social media sites that's um, twitter at glac jones instagram db underscore allotment underscore vlogs and on facebook if you do a search for my big allotment project you'll find all our details there you can also check out our website www.allotmentguide.com thanks very much guys see you in the next video